All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Sashko's exact color tintable caulk. So this is a new product and I'm kind of excited about this product and it's something uh, very unusual. So you can tint your caulking to any color you want. I got a bunch of colors down here and I'm going to tint it and we're going to show you how, you, how easy it is that it's toolless. So we're going to be tinting it and then we're going to take it out and we're going to use it and show you how well it matches. So I've never used it before. So how easy actually is this product to use? Let's go. We're going to get right down to business. I'm going to open up this package and we're going to start tinting it. So here we go. So what's in the package? First off, we're going to start off, we've got a cap. You don't want to lose that cap. That's what's going to seal the lid after you put in your color. And what you're going to be doing is just using whatever paint that you're going to be using to tint your caulk to. A latex paint, you don't want an oil-based product. It's got to be water-based. I'm going to be, my first color, I'm going to be matching it to this color right here. I've got a hardener. You want to set this aside. This is going to be the second step after you put in your paint. I've got a lid right here that goes you know, on after everything is added to it. I've got a syringe that I'm going to be pulling up my paint with and adding it into my tube of caulking right here. So I'm going to set everything aside. Don't lose any of this stuff. Now we're going to begin the process of mixing this stuff. Once again, I've never done this before, so we're going to see how simple and easy this is to do. So professional painters, do it yourselfers. Anybody can do this. Here we go. First thing you want to do is we're going to cut the, the tip off right here. A good little pointer, you don't want to mess with your thread. So don't cut it off so low that you um, take some of your threads with it because your cap has got a thread on there. So I'm going to look at that, be just above my threads. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife and cut it right off just like that. It was very simple, easy to do. That lead, this lid actually just threads a little there after I'm done applying my color in. I'm going to just tap that down a little bit, make sure my product is settled down. Set that down. Now I'm gonna draw up my product, my paint product now. There's a lot of colorant added to this. Typically, uh, what you wanna do is add 30 milliliters right here. Stay right down the bottom, I'd add a full syringe. Now, if you're using a paint product that has a lot of color in, in it, like your reds, dark greens and stuff, the viscosity is gonna be a little bit thinner. So you probably wanna add a little bit less product. I'd recommend probably adding 25 milliliters if you've got a really thin product. You can actually add stain to this and match stains or even a metallic finishes. If you're gonna be using a stain, you're only gonna be using uh, 15, half, 10 to 15 milliliters if you're using a stain because it's very, very thin, very, very watery. But we're using a paint. I'm going to open up this paint and then we're going to add our product. So we're going to be opening our product up with a Leatherman, Leatherman right here. I do recommend, you know, as a professional painter or do it yourself or always carry around a 5-in-1 tool with you at all times, a two-edge knife is amazing because it's a five in one and it has a knife at the same time where you can actually cut the top off. So I got my paint. Now I'm gonna simply just take my syringe, make sure it's all the way down, plungers all the way down and I'm gonna withdraw 30 milliliters. I don't think this stuff is very thin. It has a nice viscosity you know, to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 30 milliliters. So I'm just gonna suck it up. Looks like it sucks up really simply and easily. I got my paint withdrawn into my syringe. Now before you know, taking and um, putting your paint in your syringe, make sure you mix your paint up really, really good because otherwise you're gonna have resin sitting at the top and you're not gonna get the full color. You don't wanna, you want everything to be mixed up well. So either shake it or actually stir it up. Now I'm gonna take my syringe. I'm gonna just add this to my um, product right here. I can see, you know, I can see it's about right there. So it's gonna take uh, the product. I'm gonna fill that in. Don't like be light on this tish to get it to the end right here. I'm gonna jam that in just like that. Now, when I get to pumping, I can just pump it, make sure I got a nice tight seal. And I just added my coloring just like that. Very simple and easy to do. All right, so now that I got my paint put in, I'm kind of a clean freak. So I'm gonna just wipe the end of this off right there, get that paint off there. And I'm gonna put my cap on, your cap threads on. Make sure it's not cross threaded, make sure it's threaded on. Don't over tighten it just like that. Now I'm gonna shake this for 30 seconds. You wanna shake this up so your coloring gets mixed up into your caulking. 
see so far, this is very simple and easy to do. Professional painter, do it yourself or anybody can do this. What this does, it saves you from having to buy all these different colors of caulking and sometimes even with all the different options and selections there are, you're not gonna have an exact match. So, you know, I've spent, you know, 30 seconds shaking this and you can see it's not quite mixed up. And so I didn't use, you know, the proper technique shaking this. So I've been instructed that instead of shaking it up and down like this, kind of agitate it and kind of agitate a little bit harder, shaking it back and forth. Add a little bit more muscle to it. I've shaken it up. So before now, I can actually see my blues going all the way down. Before the um, it was white, and so the caulking, this whole tube is filled up right there. So shake it instead of an up and down motion like this, an angular motion. And I've even heard you can use a sawzall for this. Okay, look at that. So now our mixture, it's I don't see any white. I see color mixed throughout. Nice and it's even. Now I can take my lid off. So whether it's 30 seconds or a minute, just verify that your color is mixed throughout. Now I've got my hardener, exact color sealant hardener, thickener right here. I'm gonna add that and it'll be the same process that I did with the paint. I'm gonna jam this in the top. I'm gonna squeeze all that hardener in. Remove it because I'm kind of a neat clean freak. I want to just clean that off. Now I'm going to screw my cap back on, make sure it's not cross threaded, make sure it's tight so nothing's going to come out. Now this is important too. You're shaking when it comes. Don't just lightly shake it because you want to disperse that thickener or hardener throughout your whole tube. That way it thickens it up and you get the proper viscosity throughout the whole thing. So now my hardener is mixed throughout my color right now, my exact color. I'm gonna let this set, it's very critical, you let it set for 30 minutes to activate the product. Now, when you add your hardener to this, you know, it's really important that as soon as you add it, put your cap on, you wanna start shaking it really hard and violently to get it dispersed throughout the product, throughout the sealant, really fast and really quick. The first five seconds is very important.